Hi right, everyone, so we have another fig for you all to review, or for me to review for you guys. And I hope that these reviews are making, um, giving you guys some good insights into what varieties you should look for uh, for yourself. You know, because it's just not feasible to have, you know, almost 200 varieties. It's just, uh, it's a lot of work, guys. But this is one that I think is definitely worth having in many, many climates. Um, this does well just about everywhere. It's called Long D Out. And the leaf pattern is very, very typical, or very, very um, unique. There's about seven or eight, about seven varieties of figs that have a leaf pattern like this. They have the, the long fingers, they get lots of like spikiness to them like this. This is really typical right here. Um, some other ones include Dalmaty, which is a French variety, or Brunswick. Very different figs from Long Day Out, but they're almost always recognizable by their leaves. And then all you need to do after you see the leaf pattern like this is check out the fruit, look at the inside, and you can almost guarantee that it's, you know, one of those three. But there are a few others that have a leaf pattern like this as well. This is a really strange leaf, actually. This, this one didn't form, I don't think, correctly. But here's the fig down here. It's huge. I'm getting this um, tree air layer here. And one down here, I'm going to have an extra copy for myself. We're going to put it in the ground. It's very hardy. Uh, it's early to mid-season. It does well with the rain. We've had lots of rain here, guys. Also quite a large fig. Produces a nice Braba. The Braba has a long neck, even though this fig here, the main crop, has a long neck. Usually the, um, the neck of the, the Braba is longer. So it's really a nice short season variety. It does well in the cold, does well with the rain, but it also does really well in warmer climates. This is a really tasty, tasty fig that I ate one from a friend's tree last year. I also ate some from my own tree, but my trees are pretty young. He gave me a perfect one that blew me away. To this day, still one of the best figs I've ever eaten. Let me just show you guys the fig, I guess, for photo sake, we can get some shots of this. This is huge. This is about probably 100 grams. This is one of the bigger figs that uh, I've eaten this year. I think it's so large right now because there just isn't that many figs on the tree. Um, simple as that. You know, a lot of the energy is being dedicated to to fewer figs rather than more figs. So a lot of energy was put into this one fig here. And you can see just how incredible this looks, how big it is. Usually this thing would be filled with honey, but I think because the weather is so crappy, I didn't want to chance it. We got a lot, of, a lot of rain last night. And I picked a bunch of my figs before the rain because of that. But this one I wanted to leave on. In fact, I should have left it on probably even longer, assuming there was no rain, but it is what it is. You got to do it. You can tell it has a red interior that's uh, pretty glossy. And either that's water or honey. And I'm going to bet with you that's some honey. Because that's what this variety does. It produces quite a bit of honey. And uh, the, red, the red interior you see there has a lot of berry flavor to it. It's quite interesting. Let's give it a try here for you guys. Uh previous years this has been a 9 out of 10 for me one of the best figs in my collection yeah that thing is filled with honey there's fewer figs I think that have this much honey in them or few figs that have uh, this much honey in them it's very very sweet it's just a great fig overall I think a lot of people would enjoy this you know, not just myself. I think people have different taste buds, obviously, and people have different taste preferences for figs, depending on where you lived, where you grew up, what fig you had when you grew up. A lot of people love honey figs for that reason, but I'm not a huge, a huge fan of honey figs. But this one here, I think a lot of people would enjoy. One, for the size, and two, for the flavor, I think is very reminiscent of figs that people probably grew up with. So this is Long Di Out. It goes by many, many names. Uh, but Long Di Out is what we call it here in the States. It's the most common name. And I 
Niagara Black is another one. Uh, Nordland is another one. Peretta is another one. So if you live in Europe, you can find Peretta from Lubera Nursery. Uh, you can also find this fig on the internet um, here in the United States. You can ship it to your house. Very common variety. So this was Long Dial. Out. Really, really good. Uh, again, one of the better figs I own. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.